Welcome back everyone for the next part of Adrian Odyssey Untold. In the last part we did a few quests on the 12th and 10th floor. Now I wasn't really able to find that plant thing that I was supposed to find on the 10th floor. And even after 5 days of resting and checking I didn't quite manage to find it yet. So uh, I'm not really sure what I'm actually looking for. <laughs> so uh, nevertheless we're going to look into that later. For the time being, how about we're just going to go down to the 13th floor and try to complete the other quest, while also working on our new mission, right? We're actually supposed to find somebody around here. Now the question is, where exactly is he going to be? I mean, this is pretty much very deep in the forest already. It's going to be tough to look hey. into every corner around here. Wouldn't it be pretty hard to find one specific creature in this place? I know, right? And it's getting deadlier and deadlier, the deeper we get. You hear Ricky mutter to herself while gazing about the mysterious blue forest. Uh, we'll find it if we don't give up. We'll manage it somehow. Can we simply hurry on? Oh, that's, that's evil. That is just evil. But I guess we should, or rather we will manage somehow. I mean, so far, we even stole a, a Vyvern's egg. Right, Ricky? We even managed to steal a Vyvern's egg. We can find a person or thing in the labyrinth. Yeah. True. They say it was like a human, so it must be at least as big. I don't think this will be as hard as you say. It could be worse, you reflect. Your test could be to find a single insect. The forge is yours as you go on your way. True, if we had to find a single insect around here, that could have been troublesome. But then again, if you keep in mind the fact that some insects around here are very, very big, then that would have been the least of our problems, right? So, let us see, I can already... Oh... <laughs> well, hello there, Mr. Crab. I see that you're already here. Question is... What are you doing in the water? Should be around here. Like, seriously, what the hell are you doing in the water? Are you trying to cut me off? Are you going to jump out of there the second I approach? Doesn't really look like it. Oh well. If you're, if you're not going to approach, then I'm not going to do anything funny either, I would say. So, there's another way going upwards. And everything is blue on the other side. Okay. That would mean... I'm supposed to come from the south in order to reach this uh, mine take or chopping point. Okay, good to know. Now we could also go further to the north and I guess we're just going to do that as well. So, so far I'm not really sure which direction we actually need to yeah. go. Never mind, this is just Let a treasure. Begin. So, the ants are still around and we have Dragon Horse. Okay. I would say we're just going to do the same thing as before, bloody awful. Defend for the front guard. Maybe I should try to stun the, the horse. Spark away, but then again, I think freeze would be better so that I get rid of the ants as quickly as possible. I'm not really sure. I guess you can just help out with the ice damage. Come at me. Now. Damn. Oh, okay. All right. The horse thing is kind of strong. You give him that. Front guard. How about a south? You can just use normal ice on the right guy and do I play it safe? I should probably play it safe. Yeah, he tried to kill Arthur. <laughs> my god, my freaking god, but there's no way you guys are going to be quicker than I. Okay. That could have ended badly for Arthur. <laughs> for a second at least. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? 
Rita, oh yes. Okay, that was already worth it. Rita's always the best item we could possibly find around here. So it seems like there's another crap waiting for us. So I'm not really sure what they are actually going to do. But oh well. One tile. If we do the second tile. Or rather that would be first. Two. One. Okay, it should be right around there. And then we have another corner with absolutely nothing inside. Okay, that means I'm actually supposed to go through here. There's another treasure right behind of the crab. Mm -hmm. And now we have an event. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. What is this on the ground? A cursory inspection of the tree branch Simon picked up leads you to believe it would make a good crafting material. <gasps> oh, I got a... Okay, okay. already the oh, first bugness. We need to find it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky us! Maybe there's more around here. After putting the, the stick away in your bag, you search around to find more good materials stacked in a nearby tree. It is so close enough for you to reach out and take it if you wish. Should I try it? I mean, if it's going to give you more, more bugness, that's going to help out with the quest, right? The moment you reach for the materials, a high-pitched buzzing noise introduced uh, introduce upon the scene? A troop of flying insects charges at you, furious over the theft of their material. What do you mean, theft? Yeah. It was just lying around! You think these belong to these bugs? Even if you abandon the material now, the insects will show no mercy. You must take up arms and defend yourself. An enemy. That's so much for that, huh? Not liking this enemy. Yeah, me neither! Dragonflies! This is gonna be a problem. Uh, let's protect for now. We'll probably go for paralysis again. Spark away. Into the center and... Let me think. Let me think. What was Dragonflies gonna make? I think I need to lick my knee. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Never mind. Never mind. The situation is getting worse right now. The situation is actually getting worse already. Um, front guards? South? Spark away, and if we're lucky, we are going to be faster than I think. Yes. Yes. Okay, Simon somehow survived. Which is good. What is up with that photo? <laughs> We made it! Though I can't say the same for the materials. They are all crushed now. Dejected thought you are at losing your bounty. It is a secondary concern to the hordes of insects that may arrive. Uh, question! If I were to step up now, is it going to attack me? Mm -hmm. And if yes... <laughs> can, I, can I run from this? Oh wait, I'm not angry anymore? Oh, I see. So uh, I guess those crabs are literally the wolves around here, who only get aggroed by uh, by fighting near their sides or something like that. If it is, this could be very precious. But at the same time, if that fight had took a little bit longer than that. It would have literally trapped me on the spot, right? So there was no way for me to wait for it to run away. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, no, there's another crap. Let the battle begin. Uh, that is three, two, one. Okay. So let's see. Bloody awful for the back. Right, I need to get rid of the horse first, right? Dragon horse. Quick to fire. Resistant to ice, but it. Simon might have fastly killed that thing with the ice attack, right? Water gun. The monster that dresses in water can spit a torrent of water at a great distance and agitate it. Yeah, we need to get rid of that thing. Uh. 
Okay, strike. Face through. Hit snipe. If we're fast, it's going to be helpful, but nope. Nope, we're, we're not as fast as I hoped we would be. Um, yes, we can just... Dead guy. Oh god. And maybe, maybe I should have used the lay here, huh? Since I could already predict that it's going to hit us. But oh well. The dead guy. Not so much for Ricky. My goodbye. So it doesn't really seem like that Paul was agitated by us. Maybe we don't need to be actually really close in order for Very him to well. get triggered. Right? The other one got triggered. We were like two oh. steps away from it. Thanks. It could be something like that. Hmm. One, two, three, four, I would say. And it seems like there's another crossing ahead of us. Okay, that's good to know. For the time being, I guess we're just going to follow this line. There are a lot of treasures around here, though. Like, really, that's already the second treasure I could just see across the border like that. And I also need to check out for shortcuts. Cannot forget that either. So let's see. There seems to be an opening right over there. Walls. And I didn't really see any type of shortcut around here. That is good to know. And we have another opening going to the north. I think right over there has to be a shortcut. At the very least, I can see the, the yellow flowers. And there's also a way to the south. And of course, more water. Okay. And since this is a shortcut, I can't quite take comes. it just yet. Let's go! Onward. Okay! More frogs? More frogs. Uh, what to do against the frogs? What was it? Electric? Yes. Good. Bloody offer. Please scout Simon. Delay here because it's going to hurt very soon. Uh, spark away. And I would say we're just going to use spark away twice, huh? I'll protect you all. Now! Alright! Huh. Yeah, yeah, that did, that did in fact hurt quite a bit. There. Everyone else can defend I see. and spark away. <laughs> yeah, that that breeze. seems to be the best course of action. Oh, did you <laughs> those frogs, always those frogs. They're almost as bad as the bones. At the very least, with their splash of death. Very well. How's okay, that? Simon. Sorry, you need to you need to heal oh. again. Your poor hey. TP, already you suffer so much. Incredible. Okay, let's see. We have more water tiles going all around. That seems to be connected like this, but I can't really tell if there's a, another wall going up. Then there's another opening going further to the south. More water towards the right. And something like that, probably. There is land right over here. At the very least, I can see that. And three tiles of water. And I guess this is just going to be a room with a mine takes shopping point, but it seems like there's something else. As this stroll by the waterway. The crooking of frogs begin to rise all around you. Huh? Frogs? What's with them all of a sudden? The loud croak volumes increase as if surrounding you. Is this a threat by the frogs? You grow worried of being attacked by so many of at once. Hey. Best we don't make any sudden movement. Who knows what would indicate them to attack? <laughs> Walk into the water. Yell. Stay still. Use an item. Ah, uh, yeah, Simon, Simon, we're just going to stay still, I guess. Okay. I mean, you did say no sudden movement, right? Yeah, let's wait it out. Let's wait for it to die down. Unsure of what may anger the frogs, you all hold your breath and mask your presence. 
you listen to the frog's song for a while, trying your hardest not to move a muscle. Eventually, the croaking grows softer in volume and then fades completely. You have withstood the ordeal without putting yourself in harm's way. Thank goodness! Ooh, okay, that worked! You give a sign of relief before returning to the investigation of the forest labyrinth. I guess if I did anything else, they would have attacked us? Could be. Wait, there was an FOD around here? Oh my god. Those crabs are literally everywhere. Literally. And it seems like this plot of land is completely circled in by water. That is good to know. Oh, it's right about there. Is it the staircase? Okay, it seems like the staircase downwards is already right over there. Which means it looks something like that. I guess. Okay, at the very least, now we know in which type of direction we need to go, right? So, How's this? this floor is all about shopping. Wow, this too? And with that, I also have the materials for Rose. Great! We could be in for trouble. So, let's get out of here Good before God. that crap thing notices us. I think it's weak to bash attacks. And never mind, it seems like the frogs aren't quite done yet. Huh? They aren't quite done just yet. Bloody awful. One guards. Prepare to delay here because it's going to hurt either way. Spark away. And twice. Over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that, that hurts. That, that really <laughs> hurts. Okay. Everyone else, you can defend again. Spark and spark. You'll be fine. I'll check you out. <laughs> Show's over. There we go. Okay. Let me see. They aren't really far away from the staircase, but my TP is slowly running out. Hmm. I think it would be wise if I retreat for a second in order to heal up at the spring. Which means, give me a second, I'm right back. So, okay, much better. Now, it seems like there's another shortcut right over there, which is a bit weird, but then again, the staircase is right over there, so I guess this is going to be our main shortcut for this uh, for this floor. So there seems to be a connection point going further to the south. Two ways further to the south. Okay, that's a bit weird. For the time being, I guess we're just going to follow this line for now. And there was a wall right behind me. And of course more water. And more land. And the wall going all the way across. Okay. So is it? Yeah, that's another treasure chest. Okay, this is slowly getting a bit crazy. So from the looks of it, I would say water, land, water, land, treasure. The question is, how am I supposed to reach that? It's quite far away, especially with all the water tiles. Oh well, for the time being, I guess I'm just going to follow the line. Also, the water is going all around again. Good. So, let us see. More water up front. This seems to be a pillar. And the wall continues to follow like that. It's really a bit distracting that I have to focus around areas so much in order to draw this right. <laughs> Ah, but it seems like we run into another cutscene. As you proceed through the forest, you feel as if someone is watching you from between the blue trees. When you look towards the other, perplexed, Raguna speaks up. Hey! Hey, is someone watching us? Maybe. <laughs> she remains quiet and wary of her surrounding, nodding silently towards the thicket, uh, the thicket ahead. When you peer into the thicket, you discover a small figure there. Huh? Maybe it's that Ronan and Hexa we kept running into. Right, could be. Arthur's voice is cheerful as she as he cranes his neck to see into the thicket. Hmm. I would think they would just come to talk to us by now. 
Doesn't this seem a little strange to you? Guna's expression grows more suspicious as she dismissed Alpha's suggestion. Could it be those creatures? Rick is worried. Uh, Rick's worried whisper seems plausible, and you exercise heightened caution as a result. She may be right. One of the creatures may well be lurking in the thicket. You weigh the option of approaching the unknown figure or ignore it. Hmm. Well, our our mission is about that thing, right? If it is really close by. I don't really see a reason why we not, why we aren't approaching that thing, you know? I mean, we have to find it. So sure. The suspicious figure seems to sense your movement, disappears into the forest. That wasn't Ren and her partner, right? You doubt that Ren, at least, would ever retreat from you. <laughs> Whatever observation you was more, uh, observed you was more likely something unknown. You warn your companion to stay cautious of the surroundings before resuming the investigation. Yeah, I mean, as if Ren needs to worry about us. The time I stepped into the labyrinth, she was already level 30. There's no way she's still level 30. Right? So let's see. There's more water tiles up front. Now the FOE is waiting for us, from the looks of it. But hey, at the very least, I don't really need to worry about any type of FOE puzzle around here. Since it seems like all those FOEs are just literally waiting for random encounters. And as long as I don't have a random encounter in an unfortunate position, they can't really do anything against us, right? So let's see. One, two tiles. Then we have another wall going to this left side. All approaches like that, and actually, ah, too bad. I was expecting some cut, something like a shortcut. Would be rather fitting around here. But oh well. Here Let's it comes. See. Therefore, it is really All far right, away, so I don't do need this. to worry about it. <laughs> Never mind. It's even worse. Uh, for guts, we're going to heal right away because, uh, yeah, the thing is actually really strong. Higher for the seahorse, and if I'm lucky, I'm going to get the arms from the bear. All right. Not lucky at all. Okay, what was your thing again? There's still an item that I missed from you. And you have an ice weakness. Okay, I would say scream assist. Front guard. You can try to go for the paralysis. Then he's going to get some ice, combined with more arms, right? Because I still have hopes that. Yeah. I didn't get the arms. Not welcome here. So I guess he's pretty much dead. We need to keep moving. New powers. There we go. So let's see. There's another crap around here. Uh, water. Land. Water. Land. Wall. Okay. Next day, the crab is right beside us, so we need to watch out for that. Don't really want to draw too much ahead, since this could be confusing if by any chance I made an error. But on the other hand, it seems like the wall is coming in two tiles and going to the left. But then again, I'm not going to draw that completely, since uh, there is a chance I might see that wrong. And sooner or later I'm going to walk through there anyway, so let's do that later. Two tiles on the left side. And opening towards the right side. And there is yet another treasure! This, this floor is actually kind of crazy, don't you think? So many treasure chests. It's unreal. Literally unreal. But hey, there's another shortcut. Which is nice. So let's mm -hmm. grab that one really quickly. And actually, now that I think about it, I completely missed that one. There's a chance I might have missed another shortcut right over there. Because technically speaking. But then again, there was also this option right here. Hmm. It might lead to a treasure. 
now that I think about it. I mean, there are already so many treasures around. It could technically lead to a treasure. And they're actually really close to the staircase as well. But our TP is actually quite high, so nah, nah, it's not really worth it just yet. Okay, let us see. What can we do around here? There's more water towards the left side. At the very least, three tiles. And another opening towards the right side. Okay. Now we aren't quite ready to reach this treasure yet, so we need to watch out for that. Pillar opening right here. More water. And is an FOE around? Doesn't really seem like it. Which is just nice. Okay. Here it comes. I think it's weak to stab attacks? Yes, there's no mistake. Stab attacks? Dragonflies. Was it electric? Yes, it was electric. Okay, wait, actually. A giant dragonfly of the forest. When it can devour adventurers whole, it can easily be paralyzed. And those guys actually dropped the bug nest. Which means I need to hunt them, huh? <laughs> okay. So first of all, bloody offer for the bear climb. I should probably... Most likely prepare the delay here right away by sparking through as quickly as possible. Doesn't seem like it was enough though. <laughs> okay, that's that's counterproductive. Front guard. Try to get a stun. Spark away and defend. Have some healing. Here's some of my best. Okay, that worked. But I didn't get any buckness. Which is kind of a bummer. Okay, I'm sorry for that weird cut, but I had to check the door really quickly. So where was I? Alright, uh, we just fought against the, the dragonflies. Didn't really get a buckness, but that's, uh, that's alright. Which means if I go further ahead, there should be another take or shopping point. Which is even better since there is a chance I might here. find more. Wow, this too? Nah, it doesn't really seem like I can get buckness from here. Never mind, let's get out of here before the FOE is actually getting angry at us. It's a monster. And we actually need to I check every really single dead end I'm around here just to be sure. Just to be sure that we don't miss anything. One guards. Delay here. Spark away and let's go for the Just, Just maybe maybe one of those guys aren't going to attack that way, right? <laughs> there, is, there is a chance one of those guys is going to stop their attacks for once. Spark away. Let's go for the other legs. Here. Still as strong as ever though. Those enemies are actually really, really troublesome. Huh. Okay, Alpha. Mm -hmm. Need to heal you up pretty quickly. And then all of you do that. So, and there is actually, in fact, an event. Mm -hmm. What an odd hole. Simon stops to peer at a hole in the ground, large enough for a person to fit through. You can't see its, uh, its bottom from here, but it seems to run for quite a while below ground. You suppose we could enter it, but if you're all did so at once, you suspect you would get stuck from below uh, before long. Your curiosity is piqued as you as to what may be inside the hole. How about before we send someone inside, let's just check the hole. You direct the light or rather direct your light into the hole and find that the inside gradually sloops downwards. Past a certain point, the hole curves, and you cannot tell what might be further within. You must pull back from the hole for now and decide what to do next. So it's rather deep and I cannot quite check it. Okay. So let's be reasonable about this. It is a small hole. I should probably send somebody small inside. But at the same time, kind of want to send some Raguna. <laughs> All right. Huh, yeah. If there's a monster down there, maybe I'm the best choice to go in. Exactly. 
because you have the thickest arm around here. If something, tri if something tries to bite, they are going to have a hard time. Um. Be careful, Raguna. You watch her go as she cautiously descends to gradually uh, to the gradually sloping tunnel and waits her return. Just as you're thinking it's night time for her to uh, it's night time for her to return, you hear a loud crash from inside the hole. You yell inside to ask if she's alright, and hear a weak, distant respond to the affirmative. Should you go in after her? When you are making up your mind, Raguna comes awkwardly out of the hole. I'm sorry. Well, sorry if I worried you. I just slipped a bit. According to Raguna, there was nothing more than a giant crab. The crab's molded shell inside the hole. Not realizing it was merely a cast of shell, she tried to fight it and tripped in the tunnel, causing the crash. You decided not to press for any more details for the humiliating story and return your investigation. <laughs> oh, she did get a little bit of damage though. Wait, I can check again? Oh, this seems to be important. Okay. Grab. Malted. Shell. Doesn't even fit inside, but oh well. But you see no use for a crab to shell on your journey, and so you go on your way. Well, I don't see use just yet, but it could be related to another quest sooner or later. So let's see. The very least two tiles going towards the right. Is there not every year out? Don't really see one. We could be in for trouble. Right. Never mind, there is an FOE around here somewhere. Let's go Enemy. a step further back. Just just give We're us a one go. extra turn in case now. the worst case of scenario happens. So, Raguna, front guard. Prepare the next lay here. Spark away. And actually, if I were to use Lucia, is it going to be more effective? <laughs> How about this? Not quiet. Okay, if that's the case, front guard, defender, spark away, and that should technically be enough to deal with all of them. They didn't even go for the skill anymore. But I have in fact acquired another bug nest, so that's good. So let's see, the FOE is right around here. Water goes all around. There was no opening towards our back. And it seems to be another one of those pillar thingies. Which means if I were to follow this line, I should be able to get the treasure chest. After drawing yet another one of those puddles. Well then, don't mind if I do. Nectar 2. Okay. I might need that if Simon were ever to die again. And if he is rather close by, so I should probably Stand get the encounter right here. Should we go for it? Oh my god! Now <laughs> That That could be really bad. Uh huh? Yeah. Bloody bloody awful for Arthur. Now's my chance. There it goes. And of course, another delay Go here. This and a boost mine. freeze would be nice. Combined with a boost uh, arm snipe, I would say. Now. And he's actually going for the charge. Oh that crazy thing! <laughs> that crazy thing! Is my item faster than him? Maybe. I need to try it. I have to try it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this is good. This is going to be terrible. It's faster than I. <laughs> it is, in fact, faster than the item. There's no way to stop charging rare breed dragon. And I got a lot of grimoire stones. Nice. But my Please. god. Poor Arthur. <laughs> Poor Kuna. Does that help? Everyone is getting hurt How's so that? badly. 
This is crazy. Oh, that helped the is actually almost gone again. But then again, I should still be able to at least handle one more encounter. Because I'm really pushing it. <sighs> I need to check that wall. There might be a vent. There is no event. Never mind. But there was a chance of an event. So I had to check that. <laughs> Am I able to reach another shortcut? It would be very nice if I could reach just just one more shortcut. It's getting closer. I, did, I, I cannot get closer to that thing. It's going to spot me if I did. Get ready. Okay. Let the battle begin. Bloody over for the back. For God. Have to use the lay here. I guess the seahorse is going to be more troublesome than the fox. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is, in fact, more troublesome than the, the fox. Doesn't change the fact that the fox are still as troublesome as ever. Spark away, and that should do the trick. Sorry. Yeah, that should do the trick, but I am running out of the P too quickly. Way too quickly. <sighs> but they can still move a little bit further. This is really pushing it now, though. Oh, there might be a vent over there again. <laughs> I cannot check it. There's no way. This is a battle. There's no way I can survive it. Where the hell is the shortcut? It's just another treasure. A lot, uh, actually a very, a very good treasure, but it's just another treasure. <laughs> oh man. Okay, wait. Uh, that has to look something like this, since there's more, there's more water ties around. It's still green. Yellow. Oh, there's no way. Nah, I can't. I cannot reach it. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to reuse a freight right now. Give me a second. We are right back. So, okay, we are back. And now I can actually check out that corner as well. Let's do this. Since now we have the TP to handle it. Which means, bloody awful. On guard. The ends could be a little bit annoying, so let's try to go for the stun. Uh, of course, a leg trick. And of course, leg bite. I need to get rid of that thing as quickly as possible. Doesn't really seem like leg bite is going to help out with the assault attack, though, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, delay here. Should cure up everyone. Spark for the back line. And just defend for a little bit of extra HP. That little bit doesn't really help out because Arthur is just too deadly for everyone. Literally. Nothing can survive for even Very one well. turn for Does delay heal to actually cure the whole party. <laughs> Which in turn means I actually wasted like 14 MP for nothing. Oh well. Okay, let's see. It seems like there's another FOE waiting for us around here. Not around there, but it has to be around here somewhere. All the way across. Nothing over here. Too bad. Stand back. It's right over there. I think it's weak to stab attacks. Got it. Looks doable though. Bloody author. Front guard. Delay here. Spark? Maybe delusion? Onward. Oh my god, Raguna! Oh my god! <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, that's that's a uh, bad situation. Have some healing. Does it really look like they are going over. to heal? Oh my god, the crab is going to catch us. The crab is literally going to catch us. Ah. Uh, Bolt. Please shoot it down. Oh my god, he didn't. He didn't try to kill Simon. It's noticed us. 
crazy. Absolutely mm -hmm. crazy. Okay, first revive. Then stuff. How's that? Help? How's that? Oh. And just like that, my TP on Simon is gone. <laughs> oh, this, this is actually. This is actually a rare that I'm gonna skip them that. Then count us around here. Don't play games. <laughs> Like at all, they they don't play any games hey, around here. That's just way too crazy. <laughs> okay, but I have to wait for sip. We could be in for trouble. Ah, I think it was just a warning in general. For a second, I thought she said something in regards to shortcuts. I mean, it could be. Ah, should wait it. Here it comes. The FOE. It's vulnerable to ice. Two bears? Yeah, heck no. Front guard. Stun. Escape. Lick. That. Now we can run. He's leg bounded. There's no way we cannot run. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay. It's us. So, seems like there are like two FOEs around here. One is right behind us. The other one is right over there. Okay. The shortcut is so very close. So close. <laughs> Just a few more tiles. Oh? Okay. Good. Good. Thanks to that shortcut, I don't need to walk through that whole corridor again. But that was actually rather big. Okay, now. Staircase. We've got a solid there we go. On this floor. Perfect. Floor jump acquired. 14th floor. Holy hell! <laughs> no, wait. Is that what I think that it is? Oh no. Oh no. They can't just. They, they can't just put the alligator terminator thing around here. They wouldn't do that, right? They wouldn't do that. I hope. Okay, this is, uh, this is going to be interesting, I can already say. This is uh, there are so many treasure chests though. Two right beside each other? Right next to that FOE thing? That's kind of baiting me to get that, right? They're literally trying to bait me with that. Can I get even close enough to that? Does it really seem like it? Which in general is a good thing, or at the very least I don't get tempted then. But there are, there are more crocodiles around though. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, there's a way to the south. Water across. Got a tile of water around here, and another way going further to the north. Can I have a moment? Is it another event? Uh, as you walk the water bounded path, a fish suddenly leaps from the stream. You look at the spot from whence it jumped and see the silhouette of a much larger fish. Wow! Could it be that the fish tried to avoid? The mouth of the other fish was he about to get eaten. Look at the pretty marking on that fish. Intrigued, uh, intrigued though you are, you see no need to fish it from the water, and so you resume your investigation. Okay, I guess I can mark this as a fishing spot. Maybe I actually need to fish around here in the future. So let's see, water all around, seems to be the case, I see another alligator around the way, but there isn't really anything I can do around here. Okay then, or what it is? <laughs> the alligators around here, <laughs> why, they, why do they need to be around here? Why do they even need to appear around here? Usually, those alligator things like to show up near the end of the game, right? Very close to the end of the game because they are always so deadly. Hmm. 
Huh? There's so much water, water on the floor. And not much space to walk. Hmm, yeah. And the water looks pretty deep. We might need to swim for it. Huh? Boo to that! My formula will get watered down! For the sake of our belongings and equipment, it would be the best, the best to avoid getting wet if at all possible. True. You look around with a grim expression, noticing that the terrain before you is a floating mess, unbetted to land. You gingerly test it with one foot and see that it shows no sign of sinking. Perhaps if you make use of this floating mass, you can move about the floor without getting soaked. Though perhaps it would be best to look for an alternative route as well. You consider the decision carefully. I can write this? Oh! After safely crossing the water on the floating mass, you step off in... Oh god. Step off it onto the Terraria family once more. Okay. Looks like these things can only go straight ahead. I think it will break if we force it to turn. You ask your allies to keep an eye out for other floating masses as you resume your journey. So that means it's pretty much a wooden way. That is good to know. Should probably put a mark to that as well. But it also means it's going to be a bit complicated then. Especially if I try to get to the treasures. On the other hand, that crocodile is fixated on this point. I have the feeling this is going to be very troublesome if I try to reach that island from this side. <laughs> okay. So, there's another flower. Right over there. Right. One step towards the right. Which means it's probably going to go to the south. And in that regard, there's only water around us. Okay. That's the case. Oh shoot, my encounter rate. Holy hell, what is that thing? Hell angler? Uh huh. Spirit sister, I would say, huh? Oh, Simon, the UTP. <laughs> UTP, though. That, that doesn't really look that good. Let's try analysis. Heads now. Oh, I did get a head. Okay, that's good. Uh, Spirit assist. I guess we can just use the front guard for now. Simon, I need to save UTP, which means fire. Maybe arm snipe? <laughs> Over here. In my sight. Okay, it seems like he has a fire weakness. That's good. That's good. We can just simply hit him down and be done with that thing. Hell Angler. Developed Shaw. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is going to be an interesting stratum, I can already say. After all the ends, now we are surrounded by fishes. Wait, I can only go back from here? What was the point of this uh, this flower then? Maybe it was just to teach us that it is a possibility to travel with the flowers. Most likely. Okay, if that is the case, I can just quickly draw in everything. The flower is going to travel towards the left side. And is there anything else that I can do around here before I step into that flower? More water tiles. There's another flower. Going towards the left side. Okay. Don't really see anything else special around here. It's yes. that thing again! Right. Are you kidding me? How many health is around here? <laughs> uh, head pierce. Actually, which skill do you have? Water splash. 
The fish that lured spray into his gasping maw. It something it sometimes wanders into the upper reefs for food. Aha! Uh -huh. Nine hundred HP though! That sounds rather dangerous. Let's go for a fire again and just in case. Head smack. Don't really want to see you use that skill. If I can help it at least. You should probably use a analysis though. Your attack doesn't really make a dent. Holy hell, never mind. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, I need to get that hat. Boost. Defender. Grimoire stone. The time has come. Self. Boost. Boost. Hit snipe. Okay, I got the hit. I got the hit. It's good. Now I just need spear assist. Front guards. What? Do, what is with your health? Okay, your death is so high, that is why I do barely any damage. That is bad. Delay here. More fire rounds. He's still tanky Sorry. like a champ though. Anyone he hurt? is tanky like a champ. Okay. <laughs> and there's a high chance I just got the border attack. Okay, let's see. Good. Actually, TP, Simon, what doesn't it? really look good, huh? Doesn't look good at all. At the very least, we can still step up a few more tiles. Which in turn just leads to another dead end. Well, never mind. Okay, you know what? I would say this is a good point to make a little cut. In the next part, we're going to check out the quests around the 14th floor. In the meantime, between this part and the next part, I'm going to grab another bug nest in order to finish up the last quest. And then we're going to travel through the 14th floor and figure out what we need to do with all those flowers around here. And figuring out if those crocodile things are actually the Terminator alligators. You know, <laughs> I need to see if those are actually the things that I've worried about. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun, and see you tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye!